Hello, thank you for joining us for the third lesson in our permanent fund unit. Uh, so this lesson is all about the sustainability of the fund and getting kids to understand how the money is spent and who controls the money. So for this lesson in your kit, um, less materials, you just have this uh, worksheet and then your little menu card. And so what this lesson is all about is getting students to think through how we choose our budgets and how we create budgets. So um, in Create a State, they just spent a bunch of their money from their resources. Then in the Best to Invest lesson, they learned more about diversification and investing and making that money work for them. And then this lesson is all about who controls that spending and making sure that money is being spent well and sustainably into the future. So for this activity, um, instead of states, we actually bring this home to kind of schools and student councils. And the goal is to create a budget for the school. So each group is a student council and they are trying to become the student presidents. And um, the, the group that makes the best rule at the end of the game is who's going to get voted into president and win the game. So the first thing we do is have them think about what do students want and need in schools that cost money? Okay, so they might come up with things like clubs, uh, classroom supplies and materials, dances, sports, those sorts of things. So what we have is on their um, on their little menu, their budget menu, uh, they have different items that they might want to spend um, and then the cost of those items. So their budgets all start at, um, they have $100,000 and they gain 5% interest each year. And then this is how much each thing costs. So prom is $5,000. And then you'll see here that there's some that have an asterisk. Um, and then down here, you'll see that this is per item. Um, and then if there's two asterisks, that's per five items. So each dance is $2,500. If they want um, a fall homecoming and a spring fling, that's going to be $5,000. And then for clubs or sports teams, this gives them five items. Um, so they get five sports. So if they wanted... Um, five girl sports and five boy sports, that's going to cost them $12,000 in total. And then there's these things that they might not need every single year, but they might want for the future or for some periodic needs, um, technology upgrades, parking lot, uh, sports team uniforms, that sort of thing. So what they're going to do is they're going to, on their worksheets, they're going to line item out each thing uh, that they want and then the cost. Okay. And so again, they have, uh, starting with $100,000, they have that 5% growth, right? So that's from all their investments that they just learned about in the first game. Um, and they get that, so they have a little extra money. And then if this was their spending, say they're only going to spend $20,000, then they're going to figure out how much money they have after year one, move that down here, get their 5% growth, have that much, spend it, right? And they're going to see how long their budget will last. Now, most groups right out the gate are not this frugal and are more in the like sixty dollars to $80,000 um, and their budgets don't last them very long at all, maybe a year, two years, something like that. Um, and so they'll see really quickly how quickly they spend the money. And then we can talk through, is that fair for future classes, right? If you just blow through all the money that your student council had, um, that's not really fair, right? And so they feel um, kind of caught off guard with that. And now they have to understand that they need to help make this money sustain for future generations and future classes. And so what they will do then is come up with a rule. Okay, so how are you gonna spend the money? Um, so they might say our rule is each year we're gonna spend this $16,000 on these different things that we want. And then you know every few years, we're gonna spend an additional money to upgrade those uniforms. Once they come up with their rule, they're going to pitch it to the rest of the class um, we kind of write them on the board and they're trying to sell their classmates on this. Okay. So some teams or some groups might really see high value in sports teams and spend a lot of money there. Some in clubs, you might see good balance. 
Um, and then ultimately at the end, once everybody has uh, proposed their rules, we go old school, head down, eyes closed, and then we kind of read out of order so they don't remember whose rule was what um, the rules and they uh, raise their hand to vote for the one that they like the best. And surprisingly, they typically don't always vote for their own rule because they'll hear other kids come up with ideas like maybe charging for events or writing grants or raising money. And you'll see all kinds of cool ideas come out of this um, that will help make their budget last longer. And we don't try to shut any of that down, but we also don't suggest any of that to let them be creative in their rules. Um, and then ultimately, whoever gets the most votes uh, becomes president and wins the game. Um, and so this is a good way to kind of link it back to um, in both videos, it talks about statutes and rules and how the legislature is held to only spending certain amounts of the fund. And so you can kind of tie it all back together with these ideas that our, um, our money for our budget comes from our resources. We invest it through the permanent fund corporation to help that money grow. But then we have rules in place to make sure that that money isn't spent all in one year or something like that, and that it's actually available for future generations, and that it is um, the largest part of our revenue um, to keep our state going. So with that, thank you so much for watching these videos. Again, if you're interested in more information or one of our kits, please email us at info, I-N-F-O, at A-K resource, R-E-S-O-U-R-C-E dot O-R-G. So info at A-K resource dot org. Um, also, all of this is on our website at akresource.org um, and get in touch. Thanks so much.